Hello friends, today we're going to take a look at the seed packets that I've saved and we're going to look at a brand new seed catalog for 2017 to see what we're going to be planting in my garden this year. Stay tuned. All right, hello friends. Today we're going to go over the seed packets that I have from last year and we're going to look at the Seed Savers Exchange book this year to see what I want to put in the garden. So, let's go. I still have a lot of seeds that I didn't use or I still have some left from last year. In terms of herbs, we've got some lettuce leaf basil, I've got dill, spearmint, cilantro, rosemary, and parsley. Now I tried to grow all of these in those um, vertical, um, what's the word, vertical herb garden boxes and it just didn't work. They fell over too many times and I eventually just stopped. I think I might make a small box and add that to the last video of my garden plan. I think I can fit that in somewhere. Nothing huge, but it'll be dedicated to herbs. I don't think I really need more herbs. Do you think I need another herb? Let me know. What else we got? I still have okra. I grew that and I was mildly successful. However, I, um, uh, I overcrowded it with beans. I have, actually I have all of the bean packets left because it doesn't take a lot of actual beans to make a ton of beans. So I'm going to be trying my seeds, the ones that I saved from these and seeing how well they germinate as kind of an experiment. Otherwise I have these and I can order more. Um, I liked the ANC pickling cucumbers. We'll definitely do them again. And what else? Oh, this is a snap pea. Sorry, there's my third bean. Bean, bean, bean. Um, peas. I, I will for sure do the peas again. So these are going to be co-planting probably with ground cherries. And I also have a soybean. Now, the soybeans didn't work for me last year because I had a rabbit eat all of them before they got to maturity. So maybe if I have them um, co-planted somewhere, they'll be a little bit more successful. I don't know if I'm going to use these or not though. But for sure, the beans, the peas, and the cucumbers. I might not try the okra again. I should make myself a way of properly storing these two instead of just in packets. So in the purple collection, carrots and radishes were doing again. And they might be the only thing in one bed I think I've determined with proper spacing, a very arid bed. Um, I may not do beets again. They, I had not super success with them last year, but again, the soil was too hard. I just don't know if I should try them again or not, but the radishes for sure, yes, as well as the carrots. Still in this bag that you can see, I have these little Mexican sour gherkin and lavender. Probably won't do anything with the lavender unless I find a small little pot just for fun. And I don't know if I'm going to do these or not. Um, if I did, I'd have to build another little device for them to grow up and I should probably plant them sooner because I did not take proper care. I got one last year. It was kind of cute, um, but it just tasted okay. I don't know if it's, it really merits trying it again. If you think I should do it, let me know. Cool. Let's go through the book. This is the Seed Savers Exchange Catalog. Ooh, ah, it's their new one for the year with these beautiful peppers. Peppers on the front. Excuse me for a minute while I take a sip of Coca-Cola, my favorite beverage. We all know I'm going to do peppers. And there aren't any pepper plants in there, so I've got to be buying some peppers. Bridget likes green peppers, standard. I'm going to go through this almost page by page and circle the things that I for sure want to get and star the things that I oh, maybe want to get. So it starts off in the front with some stories, Heritage Farm collection, telling uh, there's a lot of information on where the seeds came from. We talk a little bit about pricing. Pepper, <laughs> this is kind of giving you a, a teaser of where these things are in the book. And look at this bean collection. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then it looks like we yeah, get right into it. So here's the A's. Artichoke, arugula, 
Asian greens. Nope, nope. I'm very satisfied with my beans and I don't need to try them again. I think, are these the ones that I have? No. I'm just kind of curious. <laughs> they do look fun, and I like beans. I like beans a lot. I wonder if my thing got cut off. Doesn't this look like it's, I guess it's not cut off. Um, purple potted pole. Here we go. This is what I have already this year. That's good. These are the beets that I tried last year and I was just personally unsuccessful with. Aren't those beautiful? Look at the texture. Some of my beans look like that now. This is beautiful too. I mean, my gosh. Talk about the Instagram pictures one could make. You know, I think I will order some different carrots. I have the dragon carrots right now, but I, I just want some standard carrots. So let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't want these. I do like this color. But I'm looking for long and slender carrots. So I think we should just go with these Scarlet Nature. They seem to look like a winner. So this is going to be a for sure ordered packet. I'm not doing cabbage yet this year. Alas. Uh, one year I'll learn how to grow cabbage. I'm not doing collards. But should I? Some of my things I'm not starting from seed. Like I'm not, I'm not starting my collard greens from seeds yet. I'll be getting them pre-started from our local greenhouse. I don't, don't have the time to do it myself. Oh, look at the corn! Oh, should I try a thing of corn or two? I could do like a three sisters method. I could, I could do the corn and what have beans climbing up it and have, not cabbage on the bottom, but some sort of ground cover. Wouldn't it be fun to just try a corn? Should I try a corn for eating or a corn for color? Ah, what the heck? Let's get a thing of corn. <laughs> uh, you know I'm going to look through this again a couple times after we're done here today and circle more things. I just can't help myself. I already have the ANC pickling cucumbers. They're really nice. What is this bushy? Those look good too, but pickling is what I'm going to do. By the way, my pickles turned out terribly. Uh, <laughs> I think I waited way too long and my cucumbers were old and soft and the mix just wasn't good. Oh well, that's my fault. <laughs> Don't those look good? Don't those look good? Oh man. Uh, stick to your ANC, Christopher. Stick to your ANC. Okay. Chinese miniature pumpkins. Maybe I should, eh, I'm not gonna try them again. Um, I didn't have much success, but I didn't give them the appropriate sunlight, so I was, I was a fool. Um, so I won't make that mistake again, but I do want to grow some seasonal gourds. I think we'll do a gourd mixture, because they did make wonderful holiday decorations. Are these eggplants beautiful? Look at the color. Man, oh man. Which ones did I have? I think I had the uh, Florida High Bush last year. They were good. Garlic. Ooh, I did say I was going to try garlic. Oh gosh, guys, I know nothing about garlic. <gasps> oh, I gotta turn it around for a second. Garlic, garlic, broadleaf check, chestnut red. How the heck am I supposed to decide? I just don't know. German extra hearty. Doesn't that sound good? When in doubt, I do everything German. A vigorous grower with long roots that enable it to overwinter without leaving, without heaving the ground. Outside skin is ivory white, but the clove inside is dark red. Strong flavor, that's what I like. Famous last words. Mm -hmm. Let us kill kohlrabi. I'm fine there. Uh, Forellenschluss, that's what I tried last year. I, mm, I will try again with some of the seeds that I have starting 
let us indoors, but I just did not have luck. One of these years I'll get to it, and you'll be so happy to watch, and you'll be like, I remember for years you tried and did not succeed. I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, ground cherries. Oh, man, these are so good. But, again, I am going to pick these up from my local greenhouse, and they will be started for me, and that will be spectacular. Seriously, though, if you ever have never done ground cherries, they're the best. Okay, now we're in melons. Oh, that looks tasty. Do I want a melon? You know, I planted just a few melon seeds. Some of my seeds accidentally, um, <clears throat> as in I, I completely forgot, I left outside and they got rained on for like two weeks, and they were molding in their package. So I think some of my melon seeds were out there. I wouldn't mind a melon. But again, am I going to be overcrowding? Good question. I can have these grow up where my other things are growing out. I don't have to do a lot. No, Christopher. No, 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 no. Let's pass on the melons. We have squash to plant this year. I have enough peas. Do I have actually, actually, do I have enough peas? Oh, goodness, do I ever have enough peas. Yep, we're fine. I have Amish snap peas. That's the kind that I have. Are they here? Are they on the last page? Did they be discontinued? Hmm. hmm. Oh well. Peas and okay. Look at this. The pepper page. Peppers. These are gorgeous. I'm going to get a package. And then I need just some straight up green peppers. Just like ye old normal ones, not these chocolate peppers. These are for Bridget. She just wants green peppers. Green peppers. And I want colorful peppers. Not ruby. Oh, where the heck? Where are my green peppers? But I passed the peppers. There's the potatoes. Pa please pass the pepper. You know what? I will get them from my local greenhouse. That's okay. Haha. -ha. But here we go. I need potatoes. Now these, I have to take a look. I hope these aren't seed. I assume these are going to be um, potatoes. Documenting every seed's potential. Oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> potatoes are not grown from seed, and so they're propagated. Yay, the eyes of the potato. Blah, blah, blah. So growing the potato. Right, we store potatoes in tissue culture by growing tiny plants in neutrophil tubes. How exciting. 18 months, an optimal Okay, great. I am doing potatoes. I've, I have promised myself. And I think I just want, like, a normal potato. You know, regular potatoes. We do like fingerling potatoes. But these German butter balls, don't they look delicious? Let's turn this around so you can see. Otherwise, that's not fair of me to hoard it. Oh, which one, guys? Which one? Or do I try two? <laughs> okay, fine. German butterball. French fingerling. Radishes were set on. These are the ones that I currently have. But do I really want to stick with them? Yeah, I'll stick with them. <laughs> Rutabaga. Q R S. By the way, did I miss pumpkins? I might have to go back. I do need a giant pumpkin seed. Spinach. Spinach. There's the squishy squash. Oh, I grew squish hard last year. Oh, this is a great big smiley face. Loved it. Okay, butternut squash is happening. We loved it. Except that's not an order form, that's just know your squash. Okay, thank you, great. Good, 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 good. 
Show me the butternut squash. And the spaghetti squash. I don't know what I'm looking for. Butternut. This is happening right here. We've made some butternut squash soup recently that is terrific. Uh, <laughs> Now we're on tomatoes. That's not right. Beautiful French pumpkin. I wouldn't mind a beautiful French pumpkin. Are these the only kind of pumpkins we have? Squishy squash. Yum, yum, yum. Cucumber French or acre cornfield pumpkin. First. Glenn Jones, your book, eh, top choice, both carving pumpkin or for fall decorations. That's not bad. But I want a big one. A historic cheese pumpkin in the south of France. Gorgeous squashes of a 20 pound of weight. Looks like wheels of cheese. <laughs> and ripen from green to burnt sienna. Ho, ho, ho. Doesn't that sound good? That does sound good. That could be the winner right there, ladies and gentlemen. But the third choice is. Rouge Vidant. Don't freak. I don't speak French. Beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. Documented the same year. Up weighs up to 20 pounds. Okay. It pains me, but I'll choose something French. Tomatoes. Sorry guys, I'm just not a tomato freak. I'm going to be getting these again from my local greenhouse. That's correct. See, you're so smart now. Look at the options. Man, if I were a tomato farmer. Watermelon. Oh, yum. I grew watermelon pretty successfully one year. It was delicious. Wouldn't mind doing it again. No, Christopher, no. Now flowers. You know, wouldn't be a bad thing for my garden. But I have flowers all around the garden. And I picked up some milkweed last year and I just never planted it. Because I'm silly. So we're going to skip the rest of the flowers. Is that correct? Yes, I'm not ordering flowers. Oh, yes I am. I'm ordering a sunflower. I want a great, big, tall... Giant sunflower. What does this say? Impressive height. Young visitors tip their heads to see the tall sunflower. <laughs> Giant primrose. 8 to 12 feet tall. <laughs> uh, what is this? Arikara. Up to 12 foot tall. Flowers are single. Multi heads. That's cool. Autumn beauty. That's... I want these droopy kind of sunflowers. Maybe there's some more on the next page. Big droopy headed sunflowers. That's kind of nice. Only six foot tall though. Five feet tall. Very short. Five feet tall. Maybe it is the giant primrose that I'm thinking of. This is the one that I want, though. Why can't I find it? <laughs> That's pretty, though. <laughs> the moon walker. Five to six feet. Huh. That's still what I think of. This is pretty. I keep coming back to this. Gosh, I don't know, guys. 
It's my first year. What should I try? We're going to this one. First one in the book. I think I made a fine choice. This is what I want. I'm going to recreate this picture in my garden this year. How cute. Except with even cuter little kids. <laughs> oh, custom grafted apple trees. Beautiful pictures. Great seed saving tips, racks, all sorts of stuff. The good old extras. This is great. I mean, if you guys have never looked through a seed catalog, I highly recommend it. Seed Savers Exchange. You can go online. I'll put a link in the description below. You can request your own. They send it out to you for free pretty quickly now that they're all in stock. And um, yeah, all heirloom varieties. You can read up about everything. They're terrific. So, hello up there. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. While you're here, I hope you'll take the time to subscribe. Hundreds of videos, you're bound to like something. There's a Patreon page if you'd like to contribute directly to what you see. And until next time, bye!